So the demographic that we serve um, goes into our, our background a little bit, right? Code Interactive was founded in the Bronx 15 years ago. Um, at that point, just connecting students to technology and, and using the outdoors a bit as, um, as a, a way to get kids in the door and, and get them to focus on leadership and life skills. Um, but uh, we started the, or Code Interactive started as a real community effort in an area of the Bronx, which is uh, still to this day, the poorest congressional district in the United States. That's, that's just part of our mission to serve um, students who are below the poverty line primarily. And um, we do focus on um, communities of color and, uh, and schools that serve primarily students of color for the most part because uh, there is that correlation in New York City. Um, but we, we just want folks to recognize that computer science is a huge economic lever. Um, so even when we've started to move in and work in more rural communities or uh, communities that um, intersect in, in different ways in terms of income and race, um, the story is the same. People are, are hungry for opportunity and, and curious about um, what their futures are going to look like. And computer science is a path that um, a lot of kids don't know that all these jobs are changing. And that even if you want to be a lawyer, a doctor, a, a business person in the future, you get a leg up, you get paid higher than the person next to you if you can code. It's ridiculous that you know our students, especially our most underserved students, don't have access to computer science education, which is a huge economic highway that they need to all be on. To know computer science is to be ready for any job that they will be uh, applying for when they graduate from, from college. There are a lot of reasons that, uh, that we're teaching kids um, these basic skills. And uh, it it's really is becoming just that. It's becoming a basic skill. It's becoming a math, science, history, um, any other core subject, right? Um, and so the computer science for all movement really wants to serve all students, but it's especially focused on broadening participation among underrepresented students in technology.